A total of 1,000 inhabited dimensions, we think, said the man opposite me. I was still reeling from the revelation of multiple dimensions. Of course, dimension was a misnomer. It was more akin to timelines or realities caused by quantum fluctuations, apparently. Dimension was just easier to understand. I looked back into the other man's face. It was so freaky to look at, like a mirror image, but slightly off. According to what I've been told, he was me, just from some other version of reality. The man continued speaking. When we discovered the method to pass through the quantum flux barriers and enter new dimensions, we didn't know what to expect. We were surprised to learn that there was a different version of Earth. Oh, there were differences, of course, but nothing terrible. We started exchanging data and figured out how to more easily move between dimensions. It's really convenient for resource gathering. Just pop over to a dimension that hasn't got any humans and most of the resources are within a few kilometers of their location in our dimension. Any problems can be worked on by multiple teams made of the same experts, each trying different variables and sharing results, reducing the time between first assessing a problem and finding a solution. Cancer was cured in a decade, AIDS a few years. We even vaccinate against the common cold now and cold fusion powers our cities. No one goes hungry anymore and crime is at an all-time low. It's fair to say that this meeting will directly lead to a golden age in this dimension. It's weird, really. I came from a near utopia, there's very little seismic activity, the weather is mild, the temperature is pretty consistent all year. When we jumped to the next dimension, the climate was just a little worse, the people got sick a little more often, but we were relatively close in both scientific and socio-political status, arts and entertainment. But the further we stray from our home dimension, the worse things get. I am a little shocked by this particular fact dropping into my lap. How many dimensions have you been to? I asked my doppelganger. Several thousand at this point. Most of them haven't got native people in them, but we go to gather resources. Of the dimensions we visit with people, yours makes dimension 997. So you've done this a lot then, because I have to say, this is very strange for me. I'm still getting used to seeing a copy of myself in front of me, acting without my volition. He seems just a little off, too. His hair is parted different, he's got just slightly darker eyes and lighter skin, the colour of milk chocolate, as opposed to my own dark brown colouring. Wait... If things get a little worse each shift and we're in 997, how bad are we compared to your home dimension? I'll be honest with you, he replied, with a look I recognise as serious and a little upset. This place is a nightmare compared to my home. One thing about talking to alternate dimension me was I could read his body language like a large print book. He was suddenly uncomfortable for the first time since we met. A nightmare? How? You guys have had different history from us. A lot more conflict, wars and the like. The slavery was unheard of until we went to Dimension 778. This place is rampant with diseases we've never encountered. I had to get some serious inoculations to visit, not be out for weeks, he replied. And you guys designed atomic weapons, that's truly the worst difference. We decided not to go to any more dimensions besides this one. Why stop here? Why not visit the last three? I asked, curious about what line it was we didn't cross which made us redeemable, but not the rest. Well, 998 actually built atomic weapons and 999 actually tested them. They work, by the way, quite effective, he said. What about number 1000? I asked, my mouth a little dry. The decision to show off nuclear weapons had been made by a razor-thin margin decades ago. Terrible pollution, population issues, conflict, diseases. And those crazy bastards actually used atomic bombs in war. No way will we ever go to a place like that. We actually call that dimension hell. Hell. 